Okay, here we are for uh, book two of Magium, uh, ideal playthrough. I will leave a link in the description to the um, the blog spot that I'm reading this on. <laughs> it's so it's been so long since I've uh, you know said the word blog spot. It's not something that comes up in an everyday conversation. But I will leave that in the description if you want to check that out yourself. I will be reading off of that and getting into what I need to get into. So let's start. This is a what should I say this? Uh, this is a, a se sequence where uh, Hardrick is spinning Araka's um, amulet and he asks us would I like to um, spin it as well? I think I'll pass I say. It says don't spin Araka's amulet so we'll go with that. I think I chose this last time as well because I didn't get an achievement right now. Long distance achievement you're supposed to get which I believe I already have at the moment. I don't remember how you used to do this. Did I you used to show like every single like um, prompt, every single choice that you're supposed to make? But I guess I will. This is the part where we're talking to Darren, and we're like, "You're married," but these these are like non-consequential um, choices. So I'll just go, "You're married." I'm but I'm sure I read all this last time as well, so there's no point. So this is the part where we're supposed to like. Uh, I think we're in the Golimic Castle or whatever, or somewhere around there. Um, a row of flower says that would you like to go exploring and I'm like sure I'll go so you go exploring with flower I believe I already done this but I'm not 100% on that but I'll read it sure I'll go per perfect flower says follow me oh come on Darren says what, if, what are we supposed to tell the servant guy if he comes back and asks for you tell him that we'll be right back I say and then give me a call through the receiver Darren shakes his head in disapproval but he doesn't say anything else I go to catch up with flower who seems to have stopped in front of a wall not far from my original position. After looking at the wall from different angle, the girl starts to knock on the bricks one by one as she were looking for something. Is there anything special about this wall? I ask her. Shush. I'm trying to listen. Flower says she continues to knock on the bricks. A few more seconds, the girl finally seems to have found what she was looking for and she starts to pull one of the bricks out of the wall with both her hands. As she puts the brick down, I see that inside the hole left in the wall, there is a small wooden lever. Wow, you sure know your stuff, huh? I, I feel like I've read this. Or oh, whatever. Of course, Flower says, Petal and I have been through dozens of ruins with hidden passages before. It's sort of a hobby. Less of a hobby and more of a tendency to get into mortal peril on a weekly basis, Aluna says, as her eyes turn bright blue again. I got it, Flower says, as she pulls the wooden lever. As soon as she releases the lever, the brick surrounding it starts to get pushed inside the wall, making way for us to pass to the other side. We both go beyond the wall and enter a dark and small dark room that has a small stone pedestal in the middle of it. Upon closer examination, it seems that there is some writing on the top of the pedestal, but it's too dark to make out what it, what it says. Flower makes a small orb of fire which she sends floating above the pedestal so I can read the writing on it. Now I can get a clear look at it. It appears to uh, appears that the text is written in the common language. What what did it say? Uh, Flower says it says place your palm on this ped pedestal. You like discovering secrets. Oh, I love discovering secrets. Flower says that she quickly places her palm on the top of the stone pedestal. Suddenly, a hole appears at the base of the pedestal, and two small objects get thrown out of it. As I reach to get them, uh, and this hole closes back on itself. I believe this is just the second piece of puzzle. I'm pretty damn sure I've gotten it. Let me check. Yeah, I checked. I already have this achievement, which means that I did read through all of this during my um, during my initial playthrough. I did the same thing, and we basically get like another piece of the puzzle, and then we're like, okay, we have more pieces of the puzzle, it's like three or four pieces of the puzzle. If you have them, we can unlock something which we don't know what it is just yet. But yeah, uh, so basically we did this before. If you want, really want me to, you want to hear me say all this again, then you can go back and check out wherever the book two was. I think I don't write the book number. I think I should write the book numbers in the title of the, you know, the the title of the show, so that everyone understand that this is book two that we're talking about. Even though it's quite literally written as soon as you open one of my videos, right there on top. But okay, again, this is a. Um, non matter choice, but we'll go away. We, we killed him because he plays absolutely no value on human life. Because this is a non matter option, as far as I can tell. I'm pretty damn sure I chose this option last time as well, so I'm not gonna read it. It's basically like, assume that you're talking about the slave girl he was with at the time. Tell me, young Lasethi, are you aware of the laws in a city regarding slavery and all that bullshit? But yeah, we have read all this. This is the point where Golimuk tells us that we need to. Um. 
you know have a fight in the arena and all that all right then Golemic says as he gets up from his throne follow me i'd rather not have a discussion in this dull place i'm not going to i'm not going to lead you to my real castle where we can talk to our hearts out this is probably where he leads us downstairs what do you think yeah yeah we already want to let be there real castle how many castles do you have in this place anyway so what exactly are these events that we need to win in order to be set free then I don't remember what I chose, so I'll just read it a little bit. Uh, the only thing I can say, because most of these are like one paragraph that is different and everything else is the same. The only thing I can say for sure is that it's going to be a series of battles involving other gladiators and possibly some monsters. Well, Mick says, and other than that, it could be anyone's guess. The rules tend to change from one event to another and they depend heavily on the whims of the organizers. Since the ambassador is, one of, is the one in charge of the organization, organizing organization this time around my guess is the rules will be made in a way that puts you in a great disadvantage now where was the hidden lever again ah yes here it is and this is basically we go downstairs uh into his secret room where no one can spy on us this is where golemic is trying to get rid of his a quote unquote less sethi problem and the guide says that i should agree with him uh to solve his less sethi problem so even though he says like stay out of shit but i pretty i'm sure i chose to stay out of shit last time I agree with Golemic to take care of his Lasethi problems. A few months is too long. Maybe we should take care of his Lasethi problem instead. Oh, Golemic says while stroking his chin. Uh, do you speak for your entire team when you're making this proposal, young Lasethi? Or do you only speak for yourself? The, known words took, the gnome's words took me off guard. We've been trapped. Well, uh, we've already been traveling together for a week. I'm not sure everyone would agree to join me on this potentially suicidal mission. As I stand there and try to think of an answer to give the gnome, Darren takes my side and he puts his hand on my shoulder. He speaks for me as well, Darren tells Gollum, and for me, Hardrick says he steps forward. After hearing what happened to the slave girl yesterday, I would be more than happy to teach these bastards a lesson if they are the ones responsible for what's going on in the city. Barry is honestly such a character that's so distant from my self in this world or if I were to be teleported to that world in both situations I would be such a distant character from him and believe me me in this world and me after being teleported to you know the medium world would be a far like beings completely far apart from each other like I would be a completely different person from what I am right now and even then, in both possibilities, Barry would be way too different from me in every goddamn regard. Um, but yeah. I would be more than happy to teach these bastards a lesson if they are the ones responsible for what's going on in the city. Interesting, Golemic says. Then he turns to his Kate. What about you, Artificial Mage? Are you volunteering for this mission as well? These Lasethi you spoke of, Kate says. Do you know if they're working with other artificial mages? Is there a woman called Diane who controls electricity helping them? As far as I know, the Lasethi from my city are not using any mages as bodyguards, Golemic says. My spite would have been certainly found out by now if there were any other artificial mages in Thelius. I see, Kate says. She pauses for a few seconds. Even if Diane is not in the city, there is still a chance that Lasethi might know about her current whereabouts. If, they're, if you're all planning to storm the headquarters anyway, then I'm coming as well. But if everyone else is going, then I guess you're going too, right, Petal? Flower says enthusiastic. The girl's eyes turn blue again as Aluna takes a deep sigh, but she doesn't, she doesn't say anything. I'd have to admit that I wasn't expected you all to offer your help so wholeheartedly. Golemic says he takes a few moments to clear his thoughts after he continues. Very well, then Golemic says, I will think about your, what you have said. We will continue the discussion further when you return from the arena. After you manage to earn your freedom, you will need to stop uh, by my castle again in order to receive some documents which will prove that you have severe, you served your sentences for your crimes. While well, these documents will most likely not be needed in Thelius, they should help you deal with the guards that might try to have you arrested in other cities for the murder of Earl of Ollander. Now, unless you have anything else to discuss with me, I will start writing on that letter of admission for the dwarf that you can, and then you can be on your way. So this is the first choice of chapter two, uh, book two, chapter two. So it says, don't tell the um, the servant about the stat device. I don't remember what I chose last time. I would think that I chose... Um, don't tell him but i don't remember but it says don't tell the servant about your sad device so i will not tell him okay i say never mind then hey barry darren says the both king servants and head oh so there's just no dialogue about it then we just continue our normal way i suppose all right so this is the point we were asked which cell we want to go to i i'm pretty i'm sure i chose like tell him i don't care either way and just he, he just puts us in a cell it says choose cell five I don't remember what happens in this area exactly. I do remember if I choose the specific spell that 
some good stuff will happen i don't remember exactly but sure uh, maybe i just lucked out last time and i got the good stuff by accident because it's like rng or something but choose cell 5 it says so cell 5 i will choose i guess i'll go with cell number 5 then i say very well the desk, lo uh, desk worker cell cell number 5 is located on the right side of the regression area the number is written on the door he stops in front of a door he pulls out a key this is the key to your cells he says as he hands me the key you are advised to leave your belongings inside your cell to lock the door when you're away you can choose to spend most of your time locked inside your individual spell if you wish um but you are required to spend at least two hours a day in the recreational area during the recreational period in order to learn to get along with your new teammates. The desk worker then pulls out another key out of his pocket and uses to open the door. So I mean they can enter at any point honestly. But regardless we will move on and I believe the next area is like a fight with one of the thugs that were like just annoying us. I think I had just like really high speed in my own playthrough because of which I was able to get out of there you could say. 